Hello you lovely people, welcome back or to the channel. In the last video we discussed the different types of tosses in round net and today we're going to be discussing the three principles of the toss when serving. So the first principle when performing a toss in round net, whether that toss now be vertical, lateral or phantom, we want zero rotation or spin on the ball when performing our toss. If you watch high level players, you will see that when they perform their toss, again, either vertical, lateral, or phantom, there is zero rotation on the ball. And there's two reasons for this. The first reason is, it is very easy to repeat a toss with zero spin or zero rotation, but it is very difficult to perform a toss that has one time two rotations, then the next time five rotations, and the next time eight rotations. And we want our toss to be as consistent, as repeatable as possible. And therefore, performing a toss with no spin and no rotations allows for a high level of consistency. Now, unless we are mirroring the spin we put on the toss with the hand contact, such as a top spin bowl serve, or a back spin serve, there is no need for us to add loads of rotations to the ball. Especially when performing jams, cuts or reverses, it's easier for us if there's zero spin on the ball so that we can then create that spin with our hand when performing a serve in round net. Now, the second principle is the length of the toss. Do we want this toss to now travel 12 inches or 8 inches or 4 inches? If you watch high level players when it comes to the vertical toss, most top level players will toss this ball as close to 4 inches as possible because four inches is all the time they need to track this ball to now make contact on the net. It is much easier for me as a server to consistently repeat a four inch toss versus having to repeat an eight inch toss or a 12 inch toss. This is because with every inch you add to this toss, the harder it is to repeat. That is why again, you see high level servers and high level vertical tossers toss it as close to four inches as possible because that way it is now as consistent as possible. So the third principle when we are serving is that we want to avoid diagonal movement on the ball when tossing because we cannot repeat the exact same flight pattern of a diagonal toss versus a vertical toss or a lateral toss. So when we are doing our toss, make sure we're really clear in our minds, are we doing a vertical or are we doing a lateral? We don't want to be doing a diagonal because that is much harder to repeat and will lead to a lot of inconsistency from the service line. If you think about it, when we're doing a diagonal toss, not only is our head and our mind having to now think about the vertical movement on the ball, but it's also having to track the lateral movement on the ball. So now we're having to do two things at once instead of just deciding vertical or lateral. And if you watch high level servers, you will easily be able to see clear distinction whether they're doing a vertical toss or a lateral toss. Very rarely do you see them do a diagonal toss for all those reasons I mentioned. What I'll also mention about the diagonal toss is that it now reduces our trigger time of a potential lateral toss because the ball now needs to go instead of A to B, it now needs to go A, B, C, which is a lot slower. It also now gives us no benefits and not the consistency of a vertical toss that we all know now is very repeatable and is also a great toss to use to stay consistent from the seven foot line. Alrighty, and that concludes today's video. So remember the next time you're tossing the ball, you're not just thinking about the vertical, lateral, or phantom movement. You're also thinking about the spin when tossing that ball. You're also thinking about with every inch you add to the height, the harder it gets. And then also trying to avoid those diagonal tosses. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, feel free to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.